Today we're here in Sevierville, Tennessee, and we're gonna have lunch here at Aubrey's. Now, we were doing a live stream the other night and everybody kept talking about it, and it's been a while since we've been here. Now, we've done a review on this before, but it was back in its grand opening, and that was a couple years ago. So you ready, Dawn? Ready. Let's do this. Farm to fork, local produce delivered daily. Huh, and we got ourselves a nice little booth table here. Yeah, so it's been a while, but it looks like it hasn't changed much since the last time, at least the inside. I remember these great big, these signs. I got one over there that says, um, greetings from the Great Smoky Mountains. There are different locations in the area. They got one in Bristol, Cleveland, uh, Greenville. They have one in Maryville, uh, Morristown, Paper Mill Road. They got an Emory Road one. And we're here at the Sevierville. So I remember last time Don got the rattlesnake pasta. And that's $16. So you had the rattlesnake pasta last time. Was it good? It was good. It was good, yeah. It was a little spicy though, right? It was spicy. Yeah, we walked in, there was no wait. They sat us down immediately. The service has been really good so far. They brought out some bread. They took our orders uh, promptly and we ordered water. Look at that, and it's, it's warm. You can feel the heat coming from it. So how's that bread? It's good. It's hot. It's warm. Yeah. Flaky. Flaky on the outside. Yeah. So the butter is whipped. The bread is really soft. Mm. The bread was sweet. Did you notice that the bread had like a little bit of a sweet flavor? Yeah, like a little bit of, I don't know, like a butter, like honey. I want to call it wheat bread, but I don't think it is. Yeah, but the bread was sweet. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a little bit of like a taste of a honey or something. Our salads are here. Of course, I ordered a Caesar. I love Caesars. Looking good, too. And the plate is cold. That's good, right? And then you... I the house salad. House salad. Well, yours looks interesting. You got some cheese and, of course, the lettuce. And you have some... Cucumbers. Yeah, but that's like one of those potato chip sticks or something. Potato sticks. Yeah, they're like potato sticks. And then you got your, um, you got some cucumber over there, and a ranch dressing. Ooh, we're gonna get into that salad, huh? <laughs> Yours look good. The potato sticks give it a little, little more crunch. Kind of yeah. tastes like a potato chip and a salad. Little potato chips and salad, mm -hmm. yeah. And a little cabbage in there. Oh, Purple yeah, so here is my Caesar. I like to mix my Caesar up a little bit to get everything all mixed in real good before I get into it here. Uh, yeah, and uh, let's get that all. Let's get that all on there, right? <laughs> 
the dressing is covering it all the way around. Very good consistency with the, uh, yeah, let's try that. It's got a bite of uh, their <laughs> dressing. It, it's like, I bet you they make it in house, you know? Got, yeah. Kind of got like a vinegar base to it. Very vinegary. That's different, it's not like any other. Okay, Don, you gotta try that dressing. I wanna see what you think about um, that. Yeah. It's different, isn't it? It's not like a traditional. Um, you don't like it, right? It's, it's the vinegar is like real strong in it. Yeah, it's not a traditional um, uh, a Caesar salad dressing at all. But you know what? I like it. Yeah. I think it's good. It does have a kick. To it, it does have a kick to it, right? <laughs> Some that bread. I'm gonna put a little bit of that dressing from that salad on there. Is that weird? That dressing was really strong and towards the end of the salad it was starting to like, I don't know, just wasn't agreeing with me. I did finish it. And here is our main entrees. Of course I ordered a 16 ounce uh, ribeye. It looks really good and steaming as we speak. I ordered it um, medium, uh, medium well. I said somewhere uh, between that more medium than well. And then as for a side, which is very weird, I ordered their bean uh, soup there. And I wanted to try it. I wanted to show you guys what that was all about. And then what did you get, Don? Buttermilk. Um, chicken breast, chicken right? Breast and then a little baked potato. Now you asked for the, um, gravy. the gravy on the side. On the side. So, so technically it was a country, it's, it's a chicken fried steak technically, right? And that would have been the gravy, but you, of course you wanted to be able to dip it in and yeah, play with I don't it. Know if I would like it or not. Yeah. Your loaded baked potato looks really, really good. So you're getting into that. Uh, oh, it looks really good. It looks like chicken breast. It looks flaky, it's, don't it? It's supposed to be buttermilk um, chicken breast. When you cut into it, it's all white meat. You can tell. Oh, wow. That's it good. It's huh? so good, yeah. Yeah, it's just like falling apart over there. It kind of just melts in your mouth. It's, it's buttermilk. Huh? Yeah, look at the. Uh, oh, yeah. So the chicken is really good, right? Now, have you tried that gravy yet? I know you're not a gravy person. That's the reason why you got it on the side. But you should try the gravy out and see if it's any good. Yeah. Here comes the gravy. Yeah, I know you're not a gravy person, but maybe you'll like it. Yeah, it's like. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad, but you, you can just taste the like, peppery seasoning in it. Yeah, so you're not a really a gravy person, no? No. Uh, I take the bug of my potato. Here's our potato. Now that looks really good. Your potato looks. And it's a loaded baked potato at yes. that, right? Yeah, and a little cheese bit. and bacon. And a little bit of chive in there, it looks chive. like. Yeah. Baked potatoes are really creamy and smooth. It's got some flavor bursting in it. And you got a little, some bacon on there too, mm -hmm. right? Now I noticed that it kind of fell apart a little bit, right? Like, yeah, it's like fell apart. But the um, the outside looks a little bit like like maybe leathery. Or is that the right term for that? But but it looks pretty good. Uh, at least the insides look really good and, and done right. Okay. So, so we'll, we'll going to get into a ribeye. So the ribeye is very nicely seasoned. I can see it's seasoned very nice. Um, I'm gonna get the tail end of this here. And um, as you can see, uh, it looks like it's- um, Medium well. It's it's probably medium well. Um, I was hoping to be more medium than, you know what I mean? But, hmm. 
that was really good. Um, you definitely get that like charred flavor, you know, that grilled flavor. So it's definitely, you know, cooked on a grill. Um, very pleasant tasting. Definitely love. Let me get one from this other end here because, you know, these ribeyes, you get different flavors from different, you know, of course, um, you know, from different parts of that steak, you know. And I want to get into the, it's the tough end. Some people call this the tough end, but I find it to be the best. Yeah. Okay, so that was like the, that was like what a lot of folks would call, it was the tough end. Um, some people call it the gristly end. Uh, it was actually very tender and it wasn't chewy at all. So that's a good sign that's a good steak. I do uh, like the seasoning in it. And um, I think it was cooked a little more well than it was medium. So, but like I said, it's very hard to predict how they're gonna, you know. I didn't want it undercooked, but I didn't want it overcooked. But it's very tender for what it is. Now you're gonna try it. Yeah, so I wanna get into this. The this bean soup. soup here. Look look at that. So it's got um, black beans in there. Ooh, it's got a little bit of everything in there. <laughs> look at even a little bit of like uh, maybe a ribeye. Like yeah. Ribeye. Well, let's try. If you can smell the um, the smoked flavor, you know, mm. the beans. Yeah, you wouldn't <laughs> like this at all. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. It's really good, actually. Um, wow, I'm glad I got it. So you can you can taste the ham in it. You know, the, the smoked ham is very. In fact, I found a, I found a piece of that ham. Yeah. I see the ham on the yeah. spoon. And so <laughs> that's where you're getting that smoke flavor from. It's very good, though. Yeah, I think the steak was done good. Um, like I said, the gristly part, or the if that's um, done right, it could be the best part. And they did a great job, so uh, I love ribeyes. Not everybody likes ribeyes, um, but I do, so. So Dawn ordered the fried chicken gravy. Uh, she had water, uh, she had a salad, and it was $21. I had the ribeye, which was $32 with water, and I had one cup of the soup for $4, and our total came out to $63.70. Folks, that was Aubrey's. And if you haven't noticed, we're still battling our allergies. <laughs> it was a tough one to do this mm -hmm. one. So this is the second time we reviewed this. The first time, I think we had a positive experience. It's been a while, but two years. I didn't watch our original video. I did remember you had the rattlesnake pasta. Um, and so this time, I guess, Dawn, what did you think of it? I enjoyed it. I heard the buttermilk chicken. Um, and it came with gravy, but I asked for the gravy on the side, and I got me a load of baked potato and a house salad. Yeah. What did you think about everything? Was it good? It was good. It was house good. salad was cold. Load, load of baked potatoes, everything you'd expect a load of baked potatoes should be. And the chicken, buttermilk chicken, had a good flaky crust on it and white chicken breast. I didn't care for the gravy, though. Yeah, you got the gravy on the side. I ordered the steak. Uh, the steak was good. This is not a steakhouse though, so I wouldn't put it in that category. But for this type of restaurant, the steak was really good. It had a good charred uh, flavor in it. Uh, the seasoning was perfect. Uh, it was it was hot. Um, I was wish it was a little more medium than well. But, you know, I did ask for medium well to be on the safe side. And, of course, we were safe on this. Uh, I had the soup. Now... The soup of the day was the bean soup, and that was really good. It was amazing, uh, perfect. Now you didn't like it because it had like the smoke flavor, right? Yeah. You know the ham and the, yeah, yeah. It was, but it was really good. My Caesar salad, um, I liked it. It was different, but as I got towards the end of the salad, uh, the salad was just so strong it kind of just didn't want to eat it. I don't either. think vinegar was supposed to be on. The I don't know what it was. It was the, um, the um, yeah. salad that you cut, Caesar salad. Yeah. I don't think you're supposed to use vinegar dressing in there. I don't know what was on it. It tastes like vinegar, uh, vinaigrette. <laughs> yes, exactly. We live here in Sevierville, and we never come to Aubrey's. Uh, it's always packed. It's always got cars wrapped around. It was just kind of like, oh, they're busy. Oh, they're busy. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of restaurants in the area that we frequent. Uh, we might have to come back and hit this every now and then uh, because they have really good food. Folks, that's going to do it for today. 
here in Sevierville. If you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain adventures. We do food reviews, we do road trip travels, uh, hiking, everything you can imagine. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.